What up peeps? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing something very special. We're gonna be working on the BMW. Anyway, so today we're gonna be fixing the common 1JZ swap problem, which is the temperature gauge not working. So today I'm gonna show you how to go from this to this. Alright guys, so if you have a 1J VVTI, there are two sensors, one that goes to the dash and one that goes to the ECU. So the one that goes to the dash, I believe you can screw that out. It's the same metric as the BMW sensor, so you guys won't have a problem. Unfortunately, if you have a 1J non-VVTI like me, you're going to need a reducer. Um, and I'll show you a picture of how that looks. You would need obviously a BMW temperature sensor. Um, you will need wiring harness or the pigtail to go along with that so that we can wire it to the DME alright so let's jump into the video alright guys so we're outside just before I start I'd like to you know bring light to the fact that there are a lot of pinout diagrams on the internet for the various E46 platforms and their engine so i got mine from admo motorsport and as most of you probably know that i have a right hand drive it's a 318i so i had to search and ensure that i had the proper pinout diagram before i start all right so i'll ensure that i put a link in the description for other sites that you can probably get your pinouts from so that you can um, get your respective pinouts for your cars as well. Okay, so the next step is to locate your X6003 connector. This is mine. This is what we're gonna be working with today. All right, all right, peeps, this is it. We're getting closer. All right, so according to the ADMO pinout diagram, I need pin 28 for my signal to my temperature switch and uh, pin 35 for my ground all right so now that i know that i need two pins 28 and 35 we can go to the x6003 connector and do some connections on the connector all right all right guys so this is the x6003 connector again as i was saying um it's a 52 pin connector right you can see better right now um in order to get to pin 28, I had to de-pin this, right? So basically, you're gonna put a little screwdriver between here and pull it, pull it out, and it actually slides right out, and then you can actually um, de-pin or pin the connector if you need, all right? So this is the wire I was telling you, I connected it to my test wire, which is, which is going to my, um, my coolant temperature sensor, all right? So the second pin that I need to locate is pin 35. Um, I went ahead and located it. So this would be pin 20, um, 35, sorry. And I went ahead and connected that. And that would be my ground for my sensor. Uh, here it is. This brown wire. So that's pin 35. This wire. Alright, so the next step is to connect it to your sensor. Alright guys, um, one, one thing before I move on, I'd like to bring light to the fact that the BMW sensor is a thermocoupler and not a thermistor. So, what this simply means is that the polarity matters, alright? So you can't just connect anything and expect it to work. The pins matter, alright? So if it was a thermistor, you could just connect it any way you want and it would just work. All right, so the next step is to connect the pigtail connector to the ECM connections that we just did. So I don't know if you can see, um, this is not a BMW pigtail. Um, I think it's a, what, Renault? Yeah, I think it's a Renault pigtail. So pin number one will be my ground and pin two will be my signal wire. All right, so the next step is to install everything. So this hang in here is the original 1JZ dash sender. The one pin, I don't, I no longer need it. So I replaced it with the BMW sensor that you see here. And behind that sensor is the adapter that I showed you guys earlier. So the next step is 
basic auto paint it on and test your dash. So now it's time to test. Bless up.